there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Freiburg, Germany and today I want to give you some of the basic German that tourists should know when they come here to Germany. And in general, you're not going to really need to know German when you do come here to visit Germany because so many people, young and old, do speak English and English menus are all over the country because all the tourism that comes here. So you're not really going to have a problem. What the thing is, is Germans really appreciate if you try to speak German. If it's just a Danke, a thank you here, or a Wiedersehen and see you later when you leave, these things do make a difference. So I just want to give you a few tips and a few words to help you be better prepared when you're here and maybe make a German friend or two, okay? And so we want to start off when you go into stores and you're walking into places, you always want to greet people here, okay? Depending where you are in the country, sometimes you'll say Grüß Gott, which is greetings to God, Grüß Gott, okay? You'll see that a lot in Bavaria and stuff, or you might hear Hallo, or Hallo is hello. Though, if someone goes Hallo, that means you did something wrong, they're trying to grab your attention. So, a normal nice thing to say is just Guten Tag. Guten Tag means good day. You go into a store, you can say it anytime, you'll be all right, okay? Now, another thing you might hear if you want to ask somebody how they're doing, and this is important in Germany. In the US, we say, hey, what's up? How are you? It's not actually a question. Here, if you ask somebody, wie geht's dir? Or wie geht es Ihnen? If you want to be formal, wie geht's dir? Is, is the informal version. That's how are you? Or how's it going? And they'll let you know. And if they say gut, they mean good, it's going well. If they say schlecht, it means bad. And they're probably going to explain to you why, okay? So make sure you do know that. So if you're going to ask, wie geht's dir? Be ready for a conversation to follow, okay? But if you're going to get food or how you're feeling or anything like that, good is gut and bad is schlecht. So if you're talking about the food, it's immer gut. Always good when you're here in Germany, okay? Now, if you want to know some of the basics like yes and no, yes is ja, ja, and no is nein. Okay, like the number nine, just nine. Okay, so you have that. Um, another thing I think is important for we as tourists, when we're going around, we're having the beer that's here and the wine that you can get here as well, or even if it's just apple shola, that like apple spritzy, you know, that non-alcoholic drink, you're gonna need to know where things are, like the bathroom. So asking where is something is wo ist, wo ist, and then the bathroom, or you can say toilette, which is toilet, or toiletten, which is toilets, Yes, I know it gets complicated, but also what you're going to see here in Germany, you're going to see the WC, and the WC, you don't say where, wo ist WC, you say wo ist der WC, WC, okay, you'll see that WC sign, so you can relieve yourself, and some of the places you're going to go when you're here, if you want to know what a bar is, a bar is Kneipe, Kneipe, a uh, restaurant is, you know, a you know, restaurant or, or a Gasthaus, uh, there's multiple words for restaurants when you're here, but You'll get that one when you're here, no problem. When you're ordering food, you can say I want, which is ich will, ich will. But if you want to be polite, you want to say I would like, you can say ich möchte, ich möchte, and you can just point, you'll be all right, okay? Now, when you're looking at, you know, pain, you might want to, you know, ask how much is something? How much is wie viel, wie viel, okay? Or how much does it cost? Wie viel kostet das? Wie viel kostet das? But just wie viel or how much, they'll get it across. Germans are really good at business, so the money and the numbers won't be a problem when you're here. And what's cool is when you're paying for stuff here, the price you see is the price you pay, okay? It's not like in the US where they add taxes on later. Oh, no, no. Price you see is the price you pay, okay? Now, if you're at the restaurant and you want to get your bill, you say Die Rechnung bitte. Die Rechnung is the bill and bitte is please. Die Rechnung bitte. And when they bring the bill to you, if you give them money, Tell them the amount you want to pay with tip. Because if you just say, oh, danke, and you give them the money, they think you mean they're gonna keep all the extra money that's left over. So make sure they give the money back, then you can say danke, then you can give them the tip and do it that way. But just have a heads up, because I've seen a few tourists being like, where's my change? Oh, well, you said danke, thank you, so I thought we were done. So do be aware of that. Obviously, as a tourist, you wanna know some of the food words that are here. If you're looking for meat, that'll be Fleisch and there'll be Rindfleisch, which is beef, or you might see Schwein, which is pork, fish is fish, very easy sometimes here. Um, also for, for travelers, what's nice if you're a vegetarian, Germany is one of the best places in the world for vegetarians and vegans, so you have no problem with that, and it's vegetarian food is vegetarisch, so I mean, it's pretty similar to English, so a lot of times you look at the menu and you're like, hey, I can kind of get some of these things, which is nice. But one thing you need to have when you're here is you're a thing called Beilage, and Beilage are the sides, and there's so many good sides when you're here. Kartoffel salat, potato salad, uh, knödel, dumplings, okay? Um, Spitzel are the noodles that are here. So there's a lot of good things that you should know. Th those words like that will help you out. But of course, 
the most important one is if you're going to go to a beer hall or you're going to go get a beer, beer is very easy. It's beer. So you just say ein beer bitte, a uh, beer please, and they'll ask, do you want gross, ein grosses, a big, okay, big is gross, or do you want a small one, klein, okay, klein. So they make it easy for you when you are here. Also, my friends, it's not a beer stein. That, that meter mug you see, that's a Krugmas or just a mas. They don't call it a stein. Stein means rock, okay? So, so don't mess up your, your stuff when you're there, okay? And then if we're gonna say goodbye, there's a lot of ways you can say it, but the most popular ones are one is tschüss, tschüss, okay? And you notice that it has that weird beta thing at the end. It's called an S set. It just means two S's, okay? Or you can say auf Wiedersehen, which is we'll see you later, okay? Which is a very popular way, more, more of a formal way to say it, okay? So I hope this helped you know a few words in German before you come here to Germany, because whether you're visiting Freiburg or Berlin or Hamburg, Look, just using a little German will make people happy and will actually help ingratiate yourself so they're going to let you learn more about Germany when you're here. So have a great time and viel Glück, good luck, and uh, bis später. Ooh, that's a new one. Until later. Bis später. Tschüss.